Hey, good morning guys. This is Caleb in uh, Caleb's EDC Corner. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of a different setup this morning. Um, I thought I would try a different area. And I wanted to also introduce one of our puppies. This is Kimber. And uh, she it really enjoys messing with my camera equipment. So this is Kimber. She is rowdy. She's a beagle though. So Kimber, say hi. She's a good dog. All right, go on. Well, guys, this morning, I wanted to just take a little bit of time to talk about one of my favorite uh, knife companies, and that is Great Eastern Cutlery. But before we get into that video, I wanted to uh, kind of explain where I'm at. This uh, desk, if you follow me on the Bark River Boys page or the DLT Insiders page, which, by the way, if y'all aren't part of those groups, uh, you need to get a part of those. Uh, they are incredible, incredible groups. So a shout out to DLT Insiders, uh, Jason, and uh, all those guys. What a great group that is. And then uh, Bark River Boys, I've mentioned them before. And also Bark River Knives Facebook group as well. Uh, but Bark River Boys, um, I get to admin over there, and it's just a fun group. So um, I'm drinking this morning. I thought I would show you what I'm drinking. I'm drinking uh, Colombian Dark Roast, and I've got this in my, uh, of course, my Bark River Knives mug here. These are great. Um, Chris Morris puts these out every now and then, and i uh, really happy to have a few of them. And so I'm drinking uh, Dark Roast this morning, and today's my day off, and so I uh, gotta live it up a little bit. So, uh, so here's, cheers, uh, <laughs> and uh, this is great coffee. So this morning, oh, before I get into that, how about this desk? Many of you have probably seen this desk on, um, on my pictures. This desk belonged to my great-grandfather, and um, he was in the oil business, and it's stained with, with oils and different things like that. It's just so cool uh, to, to be able to own this, and so I thought that this would make a really cool uh, place to make a video. I don't know if I can do them here every time, I kind of have to wait for the right conditions to do this since this is in our living room. So <laughs> bear with me a little bit here. But uh, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, we're up over 200 subscribers right now, and I'm just thrilled with where the channel is going. Thanks for putting up with me. Uh, I don't, I'm not too technologically advanced, so I don't do a whole lot of editing. Actually, I don't do any editing, and so um, I'm learning, I'm getting there, uh, but I just wanted to thank you for that quick pocket check before we get into the video. This morning I'm carrying my Hinderer FireTac. Really good little knife. It's a workhorse. And so I've got that in my pocket. All right guys, let's get into the topic this morning. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about Great Eastern Cutlery. And one thing about Great Eastern Cutlery is I, f I found out about them while I was living in Kenya uh, East Africa and I was on the forums that was uh, back in the day where uh, forums were really the go-to um, we're talking uh, 2011 2012 you know kind of in there uh, Facebook groups hadn't really taken off um, too big at least for me in my life and so I was on uh, blade forums and um, I came across Great Eastern Cutlery and immediately I fell in love with them the only problem is I was living in Kenya, and <laughs> uh, you can't get a whole lot of uh, Great Eastern Cutlery over in Kenya, but something cool was happening, and I was having a buddy come visit me uh, while we were over there, and I said, hey man, um, would you mind to bring, if I pay for these knives, would you mind to bring a couple uh, over and put them in your check bag, and it's totally fine. And so I was able to purchase my first two GEC knives and I'm thankful I still have them. Um, and he brought them over. And so I wanna show you um, my first one here. I got is this Trapper. And this Trapper is in Pioneer Bone. This was like their most famous model back then. And I carried this the whole time I was over in Africa. Just a great little knife. And so uh, the Pioneer bone over time has aged really well. 
But what made me so attracted to Great Eastern Cutlery? Well, first of all, uh, they're an American company. Uh, I love supporting USA Made. Um, not everything I have is USA Made, but I love when I can support USA Made, I do. And they're an amazing small company uh, based out of Pennsylvania. And they're making slip joints just like they used to. And um, really awesome. In my opinion, best quality uh, factory made, USA made uh, slip joints on the market today. And so uh, that's just my opinion, but I really believe that they are the best quality factory made uh, knives. So this was my first one. This was my Trapper. It's stainless, uh, which over in Africa was a great thing because we, we got pretty humid over there. The second one that I bought that he brought over was, in my opinion, the most quintessential slip joint ever made, um, at least for me, and that is the number 15 boys knife. Now this one is uh, covered in uh, African ebony wood, which was fitting. And this is a, a nice slim single blade pattern, clip point blade. A lot of people talk about walk and talk of a slip joint, and that's just the uh, the action of a slip joint. So the noises that it makes as it opens and closes. You don't want it to be soft. You know, you don't want it to uh, not close when you get to the half stop. And so um, that walk and talk is that is that nice clicky sound you get, and it's a it's a sign of a good quality slip joint. So I've already talked about why I love GEC. They're American made, they're a small company, and they, um, they are constantly innovating. They are constantly uh, coming up with new patterns. Uh, in, that, in the slip joint world, a new uh, design, they call it a pattern. And so um, they're always innovating. They're always coming out with new patterns, and I love that. I, I love that they listen to their customers. I love that they kind of tailor what we want um, and different things. But I've got to show you one of my favorite models. I, as you can see, I've got a few here that I brought out. And so this might be just a little bit longer of a video, uh, but I appreciate you sticking with me. But this is called a whaler. Now, this is one of my favorite patterns. It's a sunfish pattern. And I watched a video and I can't remember his name. And uh, somebody might correct me if you've seen his video. He's a, uh, a man from Germany. And he did a video on the whaler and the history of rope knives and different things like that. And just the, uh, the, the history of that. And I immediately fell in love with the whaler pattern. And so I've got to have one of these in my, in my collection. Now, the cool thing about the whaler pattern is you know, uh, in Titusville, uh, Pennsylvania, that is one of the, the places where they found um, oil in the ground. And so when people found oil in the ground back in the day, that put the whaling business really out of business. Uh, for, you know, hundreds of years before that, um, people had got oil from whale oil and, and whaling ships and things like that. And so uh, they did this knife, this whaler knife, it's kind of a homage to the oil industry, the whale oil industry, uh, that really Titusville and that area of Pennsylvania, um, they kind of put out of business. Um, and so this was kind of a tribute to the whaling that used to take place. And so it's really cool. This one is in desert ironwood. As you can see, it's got some amazing character um, and a beautiful shield there. So love the whaler pattern. Whenever I think about GEC, I always think also about the TC Barlow. Um, these are some of the most coveted knives uh, that they put out. And my favorite TC is this guy. This is a spear point two blade, and it's a number 15 pattern. And it's got the peach, se peach seed jigged bone, which in the right light really is gorgeous. It's kind of got a yellowish, orangish tint to it. And a beautiful milling pattern on that uh, on that jigged uh, bone there. So this is, and a lot of these I'm not taking the secondary blade out, but many of these have a small pen knife secondary blade. But this is a Barlow pattern, as you can see the long bolster there. Uh, the Barlow uh, pattern, the the reason they had that long bolster on there was 
uh, to to make it more rigid, more strong for the working man. Uh, my grandfather had a Barlow um, had a Barlow, and I have it upstairs. It's a, I should have brought it down, but it it was one of the very first knives I ever got. He was a farmer, and I have his old Barlow knife, very popular. And so this is really a throwback to those old Barlow knives. Another pattern that I love from GEC are the farm and field. Now, in recent years, these things have really, and I'm rolling my eyes, they have really taken off in popularity. It used to be you could get a GEC farm and field. This was their budget line. And many of them had um, handles that were cheaper. You know, this is like a plastic handle that glows in the dark. Uh, I think I got this one for Christmas from my mom one year. And I think we paid like 70 bucks for it. She paid like 70 bucks for it from Knife Ship Free. Uh, now these are going for like stupid money. So um, I love this knife. Really, the farm and field to me are just a beater beater knives. Uh, they're they're great. Another another knife in the farm and field, which is a lot more popular than that one, is the uh, sawbuster pattern. Forgive my dog over here; she is getting into everything. <laughs> so, Kimber, stop. <laughs> so when we're talking about GEC, hey girl, when we're talking about GEC, um, another offshoot of GEC is Northwoods. Now there was a time where Northwoods were made uh, by Queen Cutlery and some other manufacturers, uh, but the Northwoods that I have, uh, except for one, which was my very first one, have all been made from GEC. My very first one was an Indian River Jack, and it was made by Queen. Um, now I have to attribute my love for, come here girl, I have to attribute my love for traditional, quality traditional knives as well to Derek Bone. And many of you know who he was. Uh, Derek unfortunately passed away. He was a dear friend of mine. And um, when he uh, was over Knife Ship Free, uh, which um, Jay now has taken over, and Jay's a dear friend of mine too. But when Derek was over Knife Ship Free, he really introduced me to the world of Northwoods. And uh, Northwoods to me is one of those brands that's just incredible. And so I want to show you a couple Northwoods. All right, good girl. Probably the quintessential Northwoods and my personal favorite Northwoods is this one here. So this was actually designed by Derek Bone and this is the Fremont Jack. I remember when these used to sit on the shelf <laughs> at uh, Knives Ship Free back in the day, back, back when they first introduced them. But Derek really pioneered this, and now these are uh, extremely rare and very sought after. This, um, I got this from Jay, and uh, just so blessed to have this. This is a Fremont Jack. Another Northwoods that I love is this guy here. Really another throwback to the uh, to the um, Barlow there. You can see the arrowhead shield on there. This one sees a lot of pocket time. I love um, my Carta handles on Northwoods. I think that, that they go great together. Another model of, let me actually get out another one here. This is another very special model to me. This was a gift from Jay. This is a big bay. And this has got giraffe handle Scale, uh, covers on it. They On traditional knives they call scales covers. You don't have to but it's just kind of the lingo. And then last but not least, I think I have another one here. Nope, I don't have any others. So I want to show you one more knife. This is a GEC that I forgot to show you at the beginning. This is a number 99 Wall Street. This is a lockback, so not technically a slip joint. Oh, check out these covers. This is why I love GEC, guys. Just incredible. Just incredible. So guys, this video has gone on long enough, and I've, I'm over time by, uh, I usually keep them under 10 minutes, but we're at about 15 minutes now. Guys, thanks for sticking with me today. Um, if you get a chance, uh, try to check out a GEC. If you wanna support an American company um, and and everything that they're doing. They're a wonderful company run by wonderful people. 
And so, and also, as I've always said, with all these different communities, the, the community itself is worth getting into. So guys, thank you. Hope you have a blessed day, and we'll catch you on the next video.